Hey everybody, this is Jared with National Property Inspections. I just wanted to take a second and go over something that I found at an inspection today. Um, people often ask me uh, why I tell people to keep trees, especially large trees, away from the foundation. Um, today is a perfect example of that. Uh, sometimes it's hard to wrap your head around just how far uh, a root can grow. So. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly what these roots can do, and in this case, the root's not causing any damage, but it very well could, and if it continues to grow and continues to get bigger, uh, it will start causing damage. So here we go. Okay, here we are on a beautiful, snowy February day. That's about 30 degrees outside. Um, here's the tree in question, and you can see that it's really close to this foundation. And, uh, you know, probably 36 inches or so. Um, so what we've got here is uh, we have a concrete patio. Now if you look down under here, you can see where the patio was originally laid. Now you look over in this corner, and you can see that this patio is lifting over here, and it's actually pushing up against the siding and you've got this crack here and this is uh, about an inch to an inch and a half wide and about an inch and a half tall right here so uh, these roots are pushing up against this uh, the slab here but if you look over at the foundation wall foundation wall appears to be okay um, so now we're gonna go down and take a look at the crawl space okay here we are down in the crawl space and now this is the route that we're actually going to follow but I just wanted to show you here's another route here and these roots are yeah about an inch inch and a half something like that but you can see Here's uh, one, two, three, four, five roots coming out just right here. Um, and I've pulled away the, uh, the visqueen here. So not a bad crawl space, uh, pretty clean. But uh, you can see that root going right there. So this root here is one of the bigger ones. And it's, uh, you know, pushing an inch and a half or so. So now we're going to follow this. You can see right under here, here's this root. You can see the outline there. We're going to follow this over right into here. There's that root again. And now it's a little bit smaller. We're probably about an inch now. Um, but there it goes underneath here. And now we're coming out directly on the other side. There's that root again. So here it is going under, coming out. Now this is going to wrap back around here and follow me as we go over to that other foundation wall. Now, this, uh, this home from foundation to foundation wall is about 27 feet from over there to back over here. So you can see, here's this root again. And it's significantly smaller now, but it goes all the way and it's exiting the home. So it, it crossed all the way over this house. So, um, you know, here we're probably a half inch or so, but 27 feet later and we're still at a half inch and then it disappears under this foundation wall, under the footer. So uh, when these roots get bigger, they can push up on the foundation and cause cracking and that's just something that you want to avoid and it's uh 
it's unfortunate that we have to get rid of a big tree like that, but um, better the tree go than to suffer some pretty serious foundational problems. So thanks for following, our, our, uh, following along with me. Again, this is Jared with National Property Inspections. And uh, until next time.